Hi guys, today we're going to be doing some math and we're going to be dealing with algebraic expressions. Now as you know in math and programming there are rules as to how a certain algebraic expression evaluates. These rules are called the precedence rules. You might have heard them before, you might have not, doesn't matter. Now let's try them out. 5 plus 3 times 2. How do you evaluate this? Okay, I know it's an easy example, just stay with me. So, let's start with the rules. Rule number one. Start with what's in parentheses. So, are there any parentheses? No. Skip that. Two, are there any, do, do all exponents and roots? No exponents, no roots. Go to number three. Now you can do all the multiplications and divisions. We have one multiplication right here. So you can do that right away. Three times two, do it. Four, now you can finally do all the additions and subtractions. 5 plus 6 equals 11. Now notice how we did not start with the addition, although it was, you know, it seemed that it was first. Okay, we started with the multiplication first, because that's what the rule says. Okay, let's try this one. 5 plus 2, or, yeah, 55, plus 2 times 3 um, minus minus 2 over 1. Okay, let's try that one. So, um, according to the first rule, start with anything that is in a parenthesis or in parentheses, and it's right here, 5 plus 2, that evaluates to be a 7. We get rid of that. Okay, number 2, is there any um, exponents and roots? No. Do all the multiplications and divisions? Okay, we'll do we have two, we have one multiplication and one division. Which one do we do first? Well, I knew you were going to ask that question because, you know, I knew that I'm going to tell you this. Um, so, when two of the same order on the expression, in the same expression, start with the leftmost one. So, go from left to right. So, we start with this one, 7 times 3. It's not because it's multiplication or it's division, it doesn't matter. Whatever is on the left, if, this, if they're the same level, start with the leftmost one. So, 7 times 3. We give that, and if that's going to be 21, um, 2 over 1, that's a 2. And now, finally, we can do all the additions and subtractions. And we had to do it anyways because it was the last thing to do anyway. So 19 is the answer. Okay. So those were the rules of precedence. And we'll see more with examples right now. By the way, I taught you guys how to make comments um, the other day. So um, we did like something like this. This is an amazing an amazing, I can't even type today, amazing comment. Yeah, I told you I can't even type. Anyways, this is an amazing comment because it, it does, does not even have the word comment in it. So, um, if you wanted to make one line of comments, that's how you'd do it. If you wanted to make a whole block, all you have to do is do a slash and star and then star slash, okay, like that. And that's, that'll make this whole block a comment, and this would not count in the code. Because this is just words, right? So, anyways, let's take it out and um, start doing an example. So let's say int x equals 2, y equals 4. Oops, I need that, right? And let's do int z, and then let's do... Um, Let's do z equals, let's say, x plus y over y minus x. Okay, and then let's see out z. Okay, and we have to do it according to the precedence rule. Okay, so if we have z equals x plus y over y minus x, I want you guys to think and um, evaluate it in your heads right now. One, two, three. It's it's gone. Okay. So if you um, thought of three, then you're wrong because you did not follow the precedence rules. If you got a one, then you're awesome, man, or a girl, whatever you are. Um, now you're still awesome if you didn't get it right. It's it's okay. We'll go over some more examples. But the reason you got it wrong the first time was because you actually evaluated x plus y into two plus four. 6, and then you divided the 6 by y minus, six, y minus x, which is 2. So 6 over 2 is 3, and that's wrong. 
Well, it's right, but I mean, that's not what this means here. That's not the expression here. The expression here is basically we have to follow the rules, which says, are, is there any, are there any parentheses? No. Number two, any exponents? No. Okay, three, multiplications or divisions? Yes, there are. They're right here. This is a multiplication, this is a division. So we have to do that one. So y over y means 4 over 4, which is 1. And then x, which is 2, so 2 plus 1 minus 1, which would give us, I mean, 2 plus 1 minus 2, which would give us 1. And let's see if that's correct here. Okay, yes. Yep, it gave us a 1. Okay, so that's all you got to know. You have to know that you have to follow the rules whenever writing an expression like this. Okay, if you wanted to do it like this, then if you wanted to get a 3, you would do it in parentheses like that. And by the way, extra parentheses never hurt. So if you wanted to make sure that this is like for sure, you know, in, in parentheses, you can just do that. You can do a billion parentheses. I don't know why you would do a billion parentheses. That means you have no life. But um, it's, a, it's a good idea to know that it's okay to add parentheses. But you have to have the minimum amount in order to get the answer you want. So if you wanted to get the 3 value out of it, here you go. It depends on what you want, really. If you want to add this over this, this whole expression, this whole expression over this whole expression, then this is what you'd do. You'd have them in parentheses. Okay, so 3, there you go. Okay, well, um, watch my next video, and uh, things are getting better. I, I, can, feel, I can sense um, the love in, 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 in you guys for C++, of course. Okay, take care. Bye.